The Last of Us Part 2 is a very controversial game that makes everyone have different opinions about how good or bad it was. But one thing that everyone can agree on is that the game has an insane attention to detail, with many things to discover in its world. Whether they're out in the open or difficult to find, here are the 10 awesome secrets of The Last of Us Part 2. Super players. The Last of Us series has never been a game about customization, as the characters are always dressed up based on what the story is going through at a given time. However, in the flashback sequence where Joel takes Ellie to a museum full of dinosaurs, the player can find two different hats. You can start putting them on dinosaurs, and once you have put the hat on each and every one of them, the game allows you to put the hat on Joel too. It's a moment that leads to both a fun scene in the game and unlocks you a hidden achievement too. In most modern video games, you will often get into conversations with your AI companions. One thing that happens a lot is that the conversation is abruptly interrupted due to one of many reasons, and then you have no idea what the other character was going to say. The Last of Us Part 2 has a secret fix for that, which many people missed. If your AI companion is interrupted, you will hear a chime, and if you look towards them, it will show you have a speech bubble icon. Simply press the triangle button and the character will continue speaking again. The Last of Us Part 2 is filled with references to other Sony video games and consoles. At many different parts of the game, you will come across PlayStation 3 consoles, the PlayStation Vita, and parodied versions of video games such as Uncharted and Jack and Daxter. Additionally, you can find a VHS containing porn that is called Smash Brandy's Cooch, which is obviously a reference to the long-running Crash Bandicoot franchise. Ellie could not swim in the first game, and this caused Joel to put her on wooden pallets on top of water bodies, which allowed Ellie to cross them without possibly drowning. While Ellie has learned to swim by the time we get to the second game, even in the flashback scenes, you can find a pallet in the museum flashback scene, and this causes the two characters to discuss the past events that they went through. It's a nice little bit of extra dialogue that many players missed out on. The Last of Us Part 2 is not a game where you can stack up on a large arsenal of weapons. However, the game manages to slip in some extra weapons and holsters for the player if you are willing to put in the effort of finding them. The holsters allow you to switch between short and long weapons very quickly, which saves you a lot of time and makes combat more convenient. You can find a revolver, a pump-action shotgun, a long weapon holster, a short weapon holster, a bow, a hunting pistol, a double-barrel shotgun, and another short weapon holster in different parts of the game. As if the subtle references to the Uncharted franchise weren't enough, the game takes an extra step to go farther. In the Seattle area where Ellie and Dina spend their first day there, you can find a bank which has evidence of a robbery gone wrong in the past. The vault can be accessed and Ellie finds a shotgun there, which comes in handy for later on. However, if you find a safety deposit box nearby, you'll be able to collect a special ring that is inscribed with Sic Parvis Magna, which is exactly the words that you can find on Nathan Drake's ring in the Uncharted series. The area in Seattle that you can visit as an open environment has many optional buildings, which are not a part of the game's story and can be left out if the player is in a hurry. But if you enter a music shop with Dina and mess around with some of the equipment there, Ellie can go upstairs to find a guitar, and then she can play a cover of AHA's Take On Me. If you don't know this song, then you're too young. And if you do know it, then it's a fun Easter egg that you'll love to see. There is a code that can be found in many video games that is basically the numbers 0451. If you are someone who keeps a keen eye on the details of video games, you must have noticed that this code is a long-running reference and has been featured in many different games, such as Thief, System Shock, Bioshock, Deus Ex, and more. The code can be found in The Last of Us Part 2 as well, and you can unlock a safe with it that has a few items as a reward. The origin of this code is that it was the door code of a game developer called Looking Glass Studios, which made the original Thief and System Shock games so it's still included in games today as a bit of a throwback for that company's legacy. If you've played the Jack and Daxter games, you will remember the precursor orbs that you can find scattered around the game and can pick up along your way throughout its levels. And if you haven't played the game, you must be confused as to what the Egg Relic in Uncharted games mean since you can find as a reference in those games. 
Finally, it also made its way onto The Last of Us Part 2 and can be found with no explanation given, simply being called a strange relic. It's a fun little callback to the series and shows that Naughty Dog has not forgotten it. Moreover references to Naughty Dog and Sony's past, there is something that you can find in the game that honors another video game property that belongs to a third party. If you track down Nora, you can hear her play Hotline Miami as the music is not changed or edited. However, once she's taken care of, you can see the game on the fallen PlayStation Vita directly too. It's a great reference to one of the most fun and violent games in recent times, which is something that we can ironically say about The Last of Us Part 2 as well. So hope you learned something new today, and we'll see you again in our next video. Super players.